Welcome back to BT at 717. Family meeting. Woo! Let's it's go. It's time for a family meeting. It is Once a family a while, meeting. On this show, we got to have them because we're a family here, and you have been kind enough to let us in your homes every day. We know the feeling, and sometimes we got to talk about stuff. With that said, Dina Pugliese. It's so much a family meeting that all of the adorable faces that just gathered around in my island, I said, I love you guys so much. Could you please go away out of sight? Because this is when it's truly a family. And look what they literally did. Oh, my gosh. I, lo I, love I, I can't see these beautiful faces because I've been so good and so strong. What am I talking about? Okay, so let's see you first of all. This is the family we're talking about. There's family upstairs in the newsroom. There's family outside on the field. There's family in the control room. There's these beautiful faces. Some have been here for 40 years, like Bobby, who we saw yesterday celebrating 40 years in the control. Al, Al how many years? Uh, 34. 34, buddy. And then we've got some new faces. This is truly a team, and you cannot get up at these hours. You cannot do four hours of consecutive television every single day with everything that it requires without being a good person and wanting to be here and having a great attitude towards life. And I am taking this time to say that after just over 16, sweet 16 years of sharing in mornings and laughter with you, it has been a blessing. I have decided it is my time to step down and leave the show. I'll tell you, this didn't happen overnight. This has been a feeling I've had for a while now. And sitting in this chair and this couch, um, sharing and connecting as we do, Kevin Franker said it from day one when I was like, I can't do this show. There's too much pressure. I watched Ann Romer. I watched Liza Fromer. And I watched everybody here when I was getting up and, and, and getting ready to go to school and go to work. And I said, listen, I'm happy and comfy in my entertainment world. I'm too afraid to share my life. And he said, Dee, you only have to share what you want to share, which is your positivity and the fact that you love to, like, run jokes and act crazy. He's like, we all need that. We need to laugh because I'm in the newsroom and life's too, too tough sometimes. And that's all you got to do. That's it. And I was like, okay, I trusted him. He said it was the right fit. And Kevin Frankish, you know this because I tell you every chance I can get, you were right. This job has been not a job. It's been a passion. It's been a blessing from day one. I was never blessed with children. But I was blessed with all of you that feel like my nieces, my nephews, my godchildren, my true family. I hugged Ron on the street yesterday. She's like, Dina, perfect stranger. Nope. Family, huge bear hug. We hug not once, but twice. That's what this show is. It's not the us just, you know, doing whatever at the screen because we want to be on TV. It's we have to care about the community because that's who we are, whether we're on TV or not. We care about you. We want to brighten your day. And this has been an absolute blessing, which is why it has been so tough to make this decision. But the hours never got easier. When I started this job, I was getting up at 4 a.m., maybe 4.30 when I was pushing it. Um, during the height of the pandemic, it was 1.30 to deal with all the challenges. And now it's consistently been 2.30. Sometimes I push it to 3. And I find more and more it has taken both a mental and physical toll. And we've got to listen to ourselves. We know the importance of our health. And I'm taking that to heart. <laughs> I'm listening. So as for what's next, I plan on spending quality time with my family. Uh, I plan on traveling with Alex because thank goodness we can right now. And I really uh, plan on dedicating more time and energy to my clean beauty line, The Care Principle. I actually launched it right here in this building over three years ago. It started as a passion project. And it was really for my family that was going through health issues, um, for my friends and for myself. I felt helpless and I said, I wanna put something out there that you can use that's safe and effective and clean, truly clean, and makes you, you know, feel like you're, you're taking care of yourself. You can bathe, you can wash your hair, and you don't have to worry about toxins. I didn't think anybody would care, but you trusted me then. Thousands of you tried it. Thousands of you came back, and you have moved me to tears with your messages. So I definitely want to focus more attention and energy on all of that. Um, my last day will be next Friday, February 24th. And listen, I want to party. I want to run jokes. I want to keep doing what we do. And I want this team to continue to keep doing what it does, that, that it does so well. It's because it's so strong and healthy and, and striving that I feel like it's thriving. It's not striving, rather, that I feel like I can leave the nest. Mama can, Nana can take a nap and I can leave the nest and rest. And this is what I'm going to miss the most. If not for you, you have picked me up on so many days when I have been down. You have no idea. Yeah, social media can be brutal and toxic, but could it, it could be amazing. I have met so many of you. Peterborough, uh, Disney, on the street, you name it. Uh, uh, your appreciation day, spirit of the season. I know you by name. I know your face. Uh, I felt your warm hugs. I've held your babies. I've seen a lot of them grow up. Talia Kay started as a baby. This is where I get emotional because I can picture your faces. But we're always going to be family. Sorry. I said I wasn't going to cry because it's a good thing. 
Debo, Debo, please help. I said I don't need this I today. Know. I was throwing him away for a second. All I'm doing is tossing up my 2.30 a.m. alarm clock, and that's it. This bond is way too special. It is something that has happened over 16 years together every single day through a pandemic, no less. This is always here. You have to know your forever family. I'm going to keep in touch as much as I can on social media because I'm a little burnt out. Maybe not. You'll, you're already noticing. You already wrote me. You're like, D, you're leaving, aren't you? You were right. I couldn't say it, obviously. We have to contain these sorts of things. But this family is here for you every single day as they have always been. And I'm going to be here for you in many ways every single day. And I thank you so much for letting me into your living rooms, into your hearts, into your lives. And I'm going to miss you, but I'm going to be here because I hate goodbyes. <laughs> and I just want to say thank you for your love and support. Thank you. That's it. I got through it almost. I love you, and I got through it almost. Almost is good enough. Love it. Kelly, don't even sense. It. This is why I couldn't see these faces, because it's no, such sit, good people. No, please sit down. Hold on. We're not done. It's such please good sit. people. Please. It's true family. People say family all the time in TV. This is true family. And you are true family. Debo, can I say something? Please, And no. then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the... Because I've been here two years, which is like a sliver of the history of the show, okay? So I'm going to say one thing. And that would be a wallflower for the next 10 days. <laughs> Seriously. Because I know my place. Um, I, I would not have gotten this job were it not for you. A lot of people believed in me. But in 2020, I was in a bad place professionally. Not a good place. And I went back to Sportsnet in November of 2020. We didn't know if Biden or Trump won the election. Yeah. It's the week of, first week in November, I went for an audition with you. You were exhausted. And you were so giving and caring. And I, you've changed my life. Thanks, Sid. Listen, I'm going to tell you, this job's exhausting, and you know that, the hours. But you did what you had to do. You readjusted your entire schedule. This is a very demanding show, and you have to put in the work, and you have to give it your wall. Your, your wall. You have to give it your wall. <laughs> Sometimes there's walls. <laughs> there's walls. You got to break down walls. walls. Did you see last week's segment? We had a therapy <laughs> session. D, we went through a pandemic. What Sid's talking about was that time, 1.30 in the morning, right? We were up. There we were, were people, at it. There were people who are actual family that spent that much time together during the pandemic. You know how much time? We spoke to each other probably yeah. 16 to 18 hours a day. We were for working two at least years. That. Yeah. Right? Whether we were here in the studio. Nobody was here. No one was here. It was us. And you would think at some point you'd drive each other crazy, <laughs> but we didn't. The bond got stronger. The jokes got funnier to us, at least. I mean, you, to us. we were sort of in our own bubble. We felt like we were in the basement just kind of doing a show. Wayne's and, World. And. We couldn't, and nobody in this city, in this country, could have gotten through that time without you. Same with you, Dee. We started the show, no, 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 for those stop. who don't this know. Is, this is Every not, day, this Dee, is... let's do what we would do. We'd go, ready? Yeah. Buckle up. It was Dee and I talking to you and, and, and just hoping for the best yeah. because it was such a long Crazy. Can Tammy start letting come in here, Tam, please? Tam, Tam, oh, no, don't bring yeah. in the Tam. You have to stay, stay far away, Tam. Yeah, I'm just yeah. not, not Tam, because we've already I'm talked, and you break mm -hmm. me and gut me yeah. like nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so I love you, and you know this. Yes. And I'm so I proud do. of you, and I'm so happy that you are the BT News anchor, filling in for Mel, who we also love. Shout out to Mel, mm -hmm. because you have been from day one a ride or die. And it's not about me today. It's about yeah. you. And I know it's going to be about you for 10 days. And I know Let's that makes you this. uncomfortable. Yeah, I know it makes oh, she's going to hate this. this. She's going to hate this. And, and it's odd because people say, so you're much. on TV. You do, don't you like attention? No, that's not the case at all. <laughs> you you want to uplift people. And that's what Dina Instant. does so well. It's not about you, you often say. It's about the person that you're talking to, the story that you're trying to share. And that's what makes you so incredible because you genuinely mean that. And um, sorry, this last 10 days is going to be all about you, my friend. It Please, no, this sorry. is enough already. I'm it sorry. has to be. These faces, Dave. there are a lot of faces in this room right now that are doing this job because they watched you. Right? Yep. Like, if there are, yes. please. Yes, see, you see? They're here because of growing up and seeing you and what you've done. Can I, like, look at little Noah. Noah was a super yeah. fan yeah. of the show. <laughs> and there he was yesterday putting on an interview. Tell, I met her in, like, grade 7 or 8. She's like, D, I want to work here one day. I love you so much. She runs social media. Cass, she's our mama Cass with a heart of gold. She's so tiny and beautiful but mighty. Kevin Forget was a brother from day one when I started here. I was like, what am I doing here? Oh, my gosh, he made me feel so supported to have you back here, Kev, for this part. I can't even tell you how much it means to me. Nope. Kelly, oh my gosh, so many years. You're too freaky. 
<laughs> Frank and Steph stuff. are here. Everyone's God, here. Everyone's here. That's why it's so bittersweet, honestly. And having Laura Ryder, my executive producer, who supports talent like nobody in this business, who has your back like nobody in this business, between Laura Ryder, yes. a writer, writer, boss, Ryder, Laura, writer Kevin Gettleman, oh, Nikki Holland, chat producer, having you three here at the helm to steer this ship, you're all heart, you're all passion. Kev, get in here. Don't make me boss the producer around on the list. <laughs> Nikki, get in here. To have you three, I say it's the Care Bear Countdown. Okay, steering this ship like nobody, it's in the best, the best hands. Can we talk about the future before anybody? Okay, let me, let me, let me Can say one. I, I gotta Can say this, and, and Laura, I think you know where I'm going with this. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of you at home right now because the next 10 days are going to be. We're going to run jokes. We're going to run jokes. We're going to run jokes. Yes, please. We have a whole fart bit for 9 o'clock. Farts. <laughs> it's going to be great. Every injury, every, every injury she's <laughs> ever had. That's going to be three days in itself. We need nine, we need nine boards. Right, three days. Three days. But there's three a lot of you at home who are like, okay, so what happens after the 24th? Here's what we can tell you. The search is underway for an amazing person to sit in this seat. Mm -hmm. We don't have that person yet. It's being taken very seriously because you take the show very seriously. As much as we have fun, we know what it means to you. When we know, you will know, and that's really as far as I want to go with it because it's not about that right now. Notice I didn't say replace. Mm -hmm. Thanks. We're not replacing you. No one ever. No. We can't so replace you. Out there. I have never worked with someone who has the same energy in commercial break. <laughs> I'm serious. Wait, sometimes too yeah. much. Too much more. Yeah. And, none of, like, be quiet. and none of it we can air on television. Tab's trying to do the news. I have never met someone with your energy. I have never met someone with, with your kindness, with your with your your genuine your genuine spirit. Because at times I'm kind of grumpy. I've learned I've learned a lot from you. I'm serious. Breaking news. You are there is no there's one word I'll never use is replace. Because there is only one. Dina Pugliese. Yeah. And you are unbelievable. I thought he was going to make a crack about my shoes today. <laughs> Yesterday we had a pre show meeting and everyone's like, big shoes. I go, enough about my size 41 feet. Okay? You can have small feet and still have so much talent. There's a ton of people. This is such a coveted chair. <laughs> Sorry. This is such a coveted chair and there's no shortage of talent. So if you're out there, I'm not kidding right now, and you're like, I think I can rock that. Laura, you're going to kill oh, me. Oh, you're yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Sid. I'm serious, though. I'm serious, though. Because it does take time. When I got this job, they had a rotation. Frankie, it was several months, I remember. It was several months. Yes. And it took some time for you to get on the show at the same time as well. Yes. But I remember that day, and you remember that day yes. as yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, and it seems like it was just yesterday. Yeah. As a matter of, yeah. even though it's 16 years, it goes really quickly. Mm. Oh, man. And uh, we've seen really lots does. of change. Lots of change in the city. Lots so of change. I want to hear from Steph. Oh, no, I want to hear from Steph. Don't, don't start. Don't, don't start, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. It's okay. No, it's okay. Look, this is uh, it, this is a big day for obvious reasons. I can't. Sorry. Um, do you want the closing word on this segment? Oh, no. <laughs> you know what? Here's what we're Let's gonna do. Run, Let's run, Jackson. Have fun. I want to stand up. And yes. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Okay. That's what it's all about.